Arriving at Aurich Airport, Germany, a transport plane brings the first of the German war criminals to be tried by a Canadian military court. Brigade Führer Kurt Meyer, an officer of the former Waffen SS, goes on trial in the Normandy building. Kept under close arrest, Meyer is allowed out of his cell only for brief periods of exercise. He is charged with ordering Canadian prisoners of war shot while in his custody. Major General Foster represents the Canadian Army and inspects the guard in front of the courthouse who are selected from the Royal Winnipeg Rifles. The judges take their place and the prisoner is brought in for the official opening of the trial. The court interpreter reads the charges against the prisoner at the bar, while the six judges wait to hear how he pleads. Meyer pleads not guilty to the charges as written, and the court is adjourned for a recess. As the trial comes to a close, Kurt Meyer is found guilty and sentenced to death as the first war criminal convicted by a Canadian court. Of course, we now know Meyer was not executed for his war crimes. His sentence was commuted to life in prison by Canadian General Chris Vokes. He was transferred to Dorchester Prison in New Brunswick after the trial in Germany. Meyer was eventually transferred to a West German prison in 1951. After the West German and British governments pressured the Canadian government for its support for Meyer's release, he was freed in September 1954. After his release, Meyer worked as a beer salesman and sold beer to Canadian soldiers stationed in West Germany. Meyer was unapologetic about his wartime actions and became an apologist for the SS and its conduct during the Second World War. He died in December 1961. Tim Cook covers this whole episode in his great book, The Fight for History, 75 Years of Forgetting, Remembering, and Remaking Canada's Second World War. It can be purchased at the links below. I receive a commission for the sales through these links. I use this support to continue running the channel and bringing you Canadian military history content. What do you think about the decision to commute Meyer's death sentence? Was it the right choice? Did Meyer get off easy? Comment below with your thoughts about these questions. Don't forget to subscribe.